Hello everyone, it's Medic here and welcome to another episode of Newsflash. Last week, Misfits shuffled up their roster just a little bit, bringing in former 1907 Fenerbahce jungler Kire. After having a strong performance at MSI, the hope was that the Dutch star could rectify some of the communication issues that Misfits were having. Things looked pretty bright in his first game as XL pretty much gifted him first blood with a mismanaged invade, leading to a snowball victory for the Rabbits. Game two was showing signs of promise as well, but I'm not sure what Forbiven has done to suffer the wrath of Gorilla as his teammate blasted him to an early death. Now, it wouldn't be a week of the LEC without G2 finding new and unique ways to amaze us. In a game that averaged over 1.3 kills a minute, G2 showed us that it's not only Caps, Mickey, and Wonder that can pilot Pike, but Perks has a pretty mean left hook on him too. The Blood Harbor Ripper is now a quadruple flex for the MSI champions, and it makes me wonder if the only reason that Yankos hasn't played it yet is that G2 wants to give the other teams a chance. Now, the big news outside the LEC last week was Team Fight Tactics. Inspired by Auto Chess, Riot have created a round based strategy game where you battle against seven other opponents using champions from the League of Legends universe. Now, there was much debate as to what to call this new game mode. Should it be Auto Chess, a multiplayer automatic battle arena, or my own personal favorite from the Leech on Reddit, a drafting auto battler, or DAB for short. With TFT hitting live servers on patch 9.13, it won't be long before you can battle out with your little legends. I'm pretty sure most of us are going to feel very much like Wonder did in his game versus Vitality. Everyone knows that Europe loves its ties, and Week 2 ended in pretty perfect symmetry as only Fnatic and G2 were able to separate themselves from the chasing pack. The two teams go into Week 3 undefeated and will battle for European supremacy on Friday. On the other end of things, Vitality and XL were unable to find any purchase on the Rift as they slipped down to the bottom of the standings. XL brought in Korean mid laner Mickey, who formerly played for Golden Guardians in Team Liquid, to see if he could help them out, but they were still unable to stand up to EU mids. I want to take a minute to talk about Vitality. From a team that defeated RNG and GenG at Worlds 2018, to a team now that can't even muster a domestic win, Vitality looked like one of the worst squads in the LEC. Why does it matter, you might ask? Someone has to come last, someone has to be 10th. Well, yes, someone does, but to see a team fall so far from grace, to see a coach who told Europe to believe in ourselves. Because anything is possible if you just believe and play with confidence and stay true to yourselves. It's just disheartening to say the least, and I for one hope they can find some semblance of their former form. Because this week of games has got me wondering, maybe Kikis has the right idea. This week we announced that the LEC Summer Finals will be going to Athens in Greece, the birthplace of the modern Olympics. The Olympics started in 720 BC, where Oripos ran naked after losing his shorts while running the race. Let's hope our players stay a little bit more clothed when they battle for the title in September. That's it from me for now, but make sure you join us on Friday at 5.30pm CEST as XL take on Vitality.